Coach, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. Nice, I appreciate it. Nice win Feels here good. tonight. A very different third quarter than the last one we saw. Much different, yeah. We always talk about the third quarters when we really start to um, – wear people down. We always say like the 25, 26 minute mark. And I thought we did that today. Um, we outscored them 24 to 11. So, and that's what we're trying to do in that third period is really wear them down. Well, I mean, 22 to three run. Yeah, I didn't realize that. To start that third quarter. And it seemed like a lot of the frustration that the girls were having in the first half because the shots weren't falling. Yeah. And they, they kind of got it together in that third quarter and everything was different. I mean, all the percentages came up to, to where you would expect you guys to be shooting. Yeah, that's what I said. Shots will fall. You know what I mean? That happens. Just have faith in our offense. And we got some good looks. I thought in the third quarter, too, we moved the ball exceptionally well. Got wide open looks. You know, drives, kicks, one mores. We just always found the, the person that was wide open. You, you at one point are up 25 or 27. Yeah, I know. But you know what? A couple other people stepped in. Lindsay Estes played really well. I think she finished with eight boards too. And Aaliyah Moon, man, was just a spark plug off the bench with 17. As I looked at her, and, and you've watched her play now since she's come back from the latest injury, mm -hmm. and you think, gosh, we had no idea what this team was missing. Yeah. Yep. And yep. the folks here had no idea what they were missing. Six man. No, she can score. She scored in a variety of ways today. I think she was three for four from three. Um, and her, her center of gravity is so low that when she wants to get to the rim at will, I mean, she can get to the rim. I think you saw that tonight. We joked about it this week. So, yeah, just another score off the bench, which we'll take. She and uh, she, she has this sense, and I, I get it from Maddie as well, mm -hmm. that they know when is the time to drive. Yes. Because I rarely see them drive into bad situations. Yes. Yep. Um, IQ kids, they're really intelligent basketball-wise, come from good programs, uh, and they read it, absolutely. Great rebounding night. I uh, looked at that third quarter. You out-rebounded them 16-6 to six in the third quarter to really change that number around and very active on the offensive boards tonight. Yeah, and I thought we defensive rebounded much better. You know, I think we gave up five quick, five offensive rebounds early on and um, banded with nine, so much better. Yeah, 18 offensive rebounds for your team tonight I mean that's a number of the <laughs> that's got to be a high this year too I, I don't know for sure but yeah it was a bunch of people it was by committee we always talk about gang rebounding it's everybody chipped in four players in double figures tonight uh, you talked you talked about that rebounding and I think you had what four players with six or more yeah you had six seven eight nine and you've talked about it and we've talked about it the last two seasons really mm -hmm. it's, it's going to be a team effort oh, yeah. when we, it comes to we that we don't have a stud rebounder that's just going to get us 12 or 13 rebounds you know what I mean that's just not going to happen and we understand that as a team we know that's one of our weaknesses so it's gang rebounding and, and, and if some people came in much better shape and I know we've talked about this and they really got after it in the weight room over the summer so I'm saying that's why you get after it so now you know Bree Moore is going up people are bouncing off Bree Moore now so um, excellent effort. Couldn't be happier. Good to see Claire have a nice game yep. and, and get started. She just couldn't get that, that last bucket to I fall. I know. I know. I think no. we were all waiting for the double figures, and it just wouldn't happen. No, you got it. But you can see it. She's getting better and better and really developing every single day in practice. Uh, she's finishing better and really just starting to use her strength. I mean, she's got to be one of the strongest kids in the ODAC. You talk about IQ, and the other thing that, that strikes me about Claire is she has a real good sense of where she is mm -hmm. and that all right, I'm not going to take it in from here. Yeah. And just you see a lot of post players where it never comes back out. Yeah, it's a black hole. No, not and, at all. And Claire just seems to realize where she is, mm -hmm. what she's going to be able to do or what she won't, and passes out. I think – yeah, you've got that in Allie, although she doesn't necessarily play under the bucket like that. Right. No, we're very lucky. It's certainly not a black hole. And today she felt like a couple times being double teamed, she felt that presence, kicked it back out. And then again, just unselfish play. It's like north-south attack. We're just going to find the open person. You're in that weird part yeah. of the schedule. You got it. Where, <laughs> all right, now we're in conference. Now we're not. Yep. Now, wait, now we're yep. back in. And then you add finals week on top of that. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, so this tonight had probably had – could have been weird. Mm -hmm. No doubt. Um, it, but we just have this mindset. We want to finish at the break. We want to be eight and three. And that's what we've been talking about this week. So you can't think about break. You can't think about, you know, have that, uh, have the laps with um, finals exams, anything like that. We're just focusing on the game. To finish eight and three, I don't think, yeah, man, I don't know the last time going into break they've been eight and three, to be honest with you, in our program. That's something that I got to look at. So we've just been talking about that all week is just focusing in, finishing it out.